Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your quickie general reading for March 18th, 2021. I'm going to jump straight into it with an oracle card message for my Leos. Quickie general reading for March 18th, 2021 for my Leos. Quickie general reading for March 18th, 2021. Quickie general reading for my Leos, March 18th, 2021. All right, let's see what spirits got for you, Leo. You've been in everyone's reading today. So let's see what the big message is. Homeward, take yourself out on a date number 42. That could be broken down to a six, or you can look up 42, whatever angel number resonates for you. And we have red, forgive, number 10. I'm viewing this, you know what? You know what? I feel like you're forgiving any and all past relationships. And you're starting to give all the love, time, and energy you gave to those relationships. You're putting all that into yourself. All right, what's going on for my Leos? Quickie general reading for my Leos for March 18th, 2021. Quickie general reading for my Leos, March 18th, 2021. Quickie general reading for my Leos, March 18th, 2021. Okay, first card out is the Fives of Presence. Yeah, you felt drained from these relationships. It's actually sitting in the bathtub. You could be taking spiritual baths trying to regrow, heal, let go. And, you know, the key element is to forgive. And I'm not saying you got to let that person know, contact them or whatever. But when I say forgiveness, it's because, like, when you hold a grudge, you hold that energy in your body, that anger, and it can manifest into something worse. It's like holding a grudge is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die forgiveness is always for you not this other person fuck them they don't even need to know you forgave them okay you're doing it to release you from that karmic tie that's all i'm gonna say about that and again pouring all that love time and energy you put into other things people and places into yourself because you're feeling like depleted here or there's someone in this situation who's still left out i don't know if that's you Queen of Needles, yeah, see, you've been, someone here has been drained of all emotions, feeling lack, just cold. Ten of Presence, wow, wow. Okay, so let me get my, let me get my thoughts right. There could be someone who's, hmm, you could be cold to the idea of love and you just want money. Someone here could be looking for a sugar daddy. Uh, please excuse my wild antics because I'm going off of like four hours of sleep maybe overall energy <laughs> the hermit card virgo so again some of you could just be wanting the money looking for a sugar daddy to put the furs on you like this or sugar mama i don't know your life and you went from the five of presents to the ten you want that money you ain't worried about love you in hermit mode head down working I almost said face down, ass up. That's none of my business, though. Let's clarify this for my Leo. None of my business. Clarify this for my Leo, please, spirit. All right, I just know you ain't focused on love. I know that. Some of, Somebody here living the life of luxury. You went from zero to 100 real quick because you got focused on them goals. You, again, you went into hermit mode and you focused on the bag. Clarifying the five of presence is the ace of wands. Yes, yeah, someone here felt lack or like they weren't enough. So they got that fire lit, that candle lit, or that's about to be for my Leos. And you, you're on one track mind. Get the bag. Get that head, get that bread, then leave. Okay, <laughs> you're in a one track mind. You're realizing you're either fantasizing about the options or fantasizing about some ace of wands, some passion, some dream, some goal. You're fantasizing about it. I also feel like many doors, life has many doors, Ed Boy. Okay, you're opening those doors here. You may have felt like you don't have anything at your disposal, like it's not enough but spirit's showing you the many other doors you have and then we have the page of cups a pleasant surprise oh you're getting the best of both worlds clarifying the queen of needles is the eight of cups yeah you clearly cut ties with something and it's either you need to forgive yourself the other person or both you walked away from possibly a knight of wands a flighty energy unstable in and out that could have been you but i feel like you walked away from that energy 
Yeah, you got in your car, you had tailed it with the uh, chariot cancer, and you're moving forward towards victory and success. And I'm also seeing that you could have left a player behind. You could have left him literally like this. He's standing there in the wind like, damn. She done pulled off in the chariot and just left me here in the night, the wind blowing in my coat. And while you hopped in with the chauffeur, and you going to live a sweet life. Now, some of you could have a sugar daddy and a, a young thing on the side, okay? And you left the young thing like, okay, look, we had fun, but I got to go. Again, anyway, clarifying, <laughs> clarifying the Ten of Pentacles is the Wheel of Fortune. Going into a new fortunate cycle. I mean, abundance, money, the sun card. Leo, you're right there. And then the moon card. And overall energy, two of cups. Now, let me tell you this messy scenario I'm getting because it's funny to me, but I can't get it out of my head. So some of you, again, could have a sugar daddy, sugar mama, whatever it is for you, for the money. And then you got a king of wands on the side having fun. Or you could be a king of wands doing your thing. Someone could have fell in love with the young thing. Okay? You got money here, but you got pleasure there. I'm just saying, a little pleasant surprise coming to you. You may be thinking about leaving. You may be running around at night thinking about going to your to your little sweet thing. <laughs> then you run home to the life of luxury. But let's get off that uh, the, the funny storyline. <laughs> let's get on the serious topic. I feel like you left behind a player and unstable energy. Something that left you confused and in illusions, had other options, that left you feeling drained and lack, of course. Someone who tried to play you. And you focused on your money, and now you get in the bag. And people want to know how you did it with the moon card. It felt like it was overnight. They want to know how you did it, how you got the sun and the moon, how you go from here to there. And that's what I was confused about, how you start off with the five of pentacles, you become the queen of swords, and clear on it, and then you get the ten of pentacles. How do you go from day and night? It, you switched like day and night. You found something that was meant for you, and you put all your time, energy, and effort into it. You left things that were unstable, and you moved. You got the call, and you moved towards victory and success with this chariot. Some of you could have literally moved. Some of you could have got that message from the sugar daddy was like, I'm out of here, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I ain't playing around with you no more. No more confusion and illusions and feeling left out in the cold and immature love. You'd rather have stability and there's nothing wrong with that. It's your life. Live it, sweetheart. Yeah, you're going towards abundance. And um, Spirit's telling you to just let go of the past. I mean, this is a beautiful reading. You got the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, money, 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 money. Fortune, stability. Then the Sun card, coming into the happiest period of your life after being caught in the unknown. Anything that was unknown or confusion, confusing is being illuminated. Any type of confusion is being cleared up. Clarity. You're coming out of hermit mode. You're following your own inner guidance and you're finding your soulmate, what's meant for you. And it could be someone coming into your life who's a provider for you. Who wants to provide for you and they're going to show themselves. Or you could be providing for yourself. I feel like there's something that's meant for you, whether it's a job, person, place, or thing. You get very clear on what it is you want. And once you leave behind this thing that's draining you, that's unstable in and out of your life, leaving you confused, um, emotionally immature, giving you very little sparingly you get very clear on what it is you want be the queen of swords be the queen of swords forgive yourself and the other person and let it go start giving yourself the love you deserve so you can get that back okay get that head get that bread and leave all right leah let me get you a final oracle card message because you are about to come into the happiest time of your life if you haven't already, I just can't stop staring at the Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and the Sun. And then, to top it off, the Moon card, any and all confusion being cleared up. Sun and the Moon in the Wheel of Fortune, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. You everything you could ever wish for, ever dream of with the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, Seven of Cups is coming for you. I can't wait to hear what my Leo's got going on. Please comment down below because I want to know... I want to know. Well, let me get you your final oracle card message for my Leo. Y'all, y'all life popping. I want to be a Leo. I want to be a freaking Leo at this time. Final oracle card message for my Leos. Because y'all, whew, I'm jealous. I'll admit, I'm a little jealous. Huh, what you got going on for my Leos? Huh. <laughs> Overall, we have, what is happiness to you? 
That's what I've been saying the whole time. Go after what fulfills you. It don't matter what nobody else think about it. What is happiness for you? What is happiness to you? Overall, be aware of all your feelings in this moment, both physical and emotional. So don't try to close off that hard space. I know you want to be the queen of swords and be clear on what it is you want, and that's good, that's great. But become, become aware of all your feelings in this moment, both physical and emotional, all right? Take that however you want to take it. And as you're reading, Lee, y'all seeing peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.